For those of you who weren't aware, the CISSP exam changed on June 1st, 2022. It was announced earlier this year, and you can read about it on their official page. I'll provide a link in the description. I won't waste your time with this video. You're basically looking at an additional 25 questions on the exam. These are 25 beta questions, or unscored questions, that they're adding on top of the already existing 25 beta questions. This means there will be a minimum of 125 questions total, and a maximum of 175 questions. Again, these new 25 questions are unscored, so that means there's a total of 50 unscored questions on the exam. Now, they claim that the purpose of these questions is to see if they're good for future exams, but I've heard from a few others that the questions are actually used to gauge your knowledge of the material and to decide what questions to give you during the exam. The thing to remember is that you won't know the difference, and you won't know when these will appear during the exam. They could be before your first scored question, they could be after it, or they could be anywhere in between. The best approach is to handle every single question as if it were scored. The good news is that you'll be given an extra full hour to do these questions. So that means the exam length is now four hours instead of three. For those of you with a history of studying for CISSP, remember that the exam used to be six hours in length. This new change could be an attempt to slowly start increasing the exam's difficulty, or maybe they feel that some people think the exam is easy. We honestly just don't know. The other good news is that they say there is no change to the common body of knowledge. So everything you've been studying should still apply, unless of course you're using materials that predate May of 2021. Make sure that you have up-to-date books and training materials, including practice questions. If you're looking for a question bank that will actually prepare you for the exam, be sure to visit cissprep.net, where we have over 1,500 practice questions reflective of the style of the real exam. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.